All right, so I rarely blog about being trans on my personal channel. Usually I save it for EDS and talking about those sorts of issues, but I want to I want to talk about this because I haven't been able to really bring it out into the discussion over at Trinity Star Galactica. And maybe I'll give that a shot this week, but as long as I'm having a good hair day, I'm going to go for it. So the question I've come up with, uh, it came about a little bit after Transgiving. So I was up at Sarah's house uh, with all these other amazing people. And, you know, trans issues really came up very seldom. We were so much more than that. You know, I wanted to meet new people. I don't just want to meet people because they're trans. I want to see what people are like. But anyway, questions came up like, so are you on hormones? I said, no. And so have you had surgery? No. I said, I'm not a candidate for surgery. And they, they pretty much asked, uh, well, how do you know you're trans? Why are you here? You know, how do you identify quite simply that I was socialized as a boy? and that I have girl parts. Uh, actually, I said my penis is an innie. And it's Figaro. My best memories of youth are with my brother and my grandfather doing what they did, which was construction and which was um, gas-powered cars and Warhammer 40K and computers and things that are predominantly male activities. I've never, ever been comfortable socializing with many girls, and there are a certain few who uh, are very precious to me, friends from high school and, you know, people I know, but uh, there's never really that sort of relation. Now, that's not to say that there aren't plenty of experiences in my personal history that are wonderful um, but they just never really felt natural. You know, I can remember one Mother's Day, my mother took me out. And any time we'd pick out clothes, she would pick me out the most beautiful things. She, she, my mother has very good taste. When she'd say, oh, that looks so pretty, I could agree. Uh, I, I could pull off a pretty good girly girl. I clean up nice. I'm well aware that I would have been more comfortable, you know, in slacks and a vest. But... The fact that, actually, that my mother made it a point to show me that I could be pretty makes it pretty easy to let go of some of those aspects of my femininity because if I still want to feel pretty, I still have that option, and that's cool. You know, some days I think I look beautiful, and some days I'm kind of funny looking. But she, and she still does that. I mean, she bought me a, uh, God, a beautiful houndstooth coat for Christmas. It zips, zips up the side and uh, really nice. Um, and I really appreciate that. Uh, it doesn't threaten my masculinity and it doesn't uh, force my femininity. It's just a nice thing that my mother knows uh, I could wear well and that I would enjoy. And I think that's better than deciding whether or not I like something based on whether or not it fits a particular label. Hmm? My mother, you know, she'd ask things like, well, don't, I mean, when you wear makeup and we do makeovers or whatever, you know, didn't you feel pretty? And I'd say, well, of course, because I did. Um, but that doesn't mean that I have to. The choice is mine. And I appreciate that because I can act on what feels natural to me. So whether it's nature or nurture, I don't care. I'm just not worried about it. But I, I want those experiences to be regarded as um, positive influences on my gender identity. Because if I didn't have them, I might not know that I could be pretty. Maybe I would run away and hide from that. Because yeah, I'm kind of funny looking now and then. Um, so there's sort of an aside about the influence of women on my identity is uh, very positive and I don't I don't think girly girl stuff is gross and I don't when I think of a woman I don't think of dresses I think of I really think of the gender benders first and all of the things that strong women do to get by and challenge those boundaries you know, to take my word for it that strong women are an influence on me being trans 
I thought at length because I wanted to I, I want to make sure that it's not like daddy issues or something because I've had a few pretty bad experiences with men in my life but I've also had a number of good ones um, but about the bad ones the question that I asked myself which took me a long time to come up with and then to consider was am I becoming the male to keep from becoming the abused female it's a big question the answer is no because since I've come out as trans really very little to nothing has changed it really just kind of reflects the upbringing that I had and the characteristics the mannerisms that have been imbued in me I'd like to have some sort of identity that reflects those rather than have them be something that happened to me on the side me because I sort of grew up moving around a lot and isolated and I didn't I didn't see those things. I didn't sit around and observe people and I didn't have a uniform group of friends. Uh, I would never have operated within a social structure that bound me to one gender or the other. But I don't have a better word for it. But I, I'm not bound to those prejudices. Uh, the first thing I think about when I think about being trans is about my role models. Not people who have done me harm. Specifically men. It's not about that. I mean, I've, I've done the work to get beyond those things. I'm very glad to make a video that says those things are not in my way. Now, that said, that doesn't mean that I don't work constantly to make sure they're not in my way. You know, it's, it's a lot. It'll screw with your head after a while, but a, a difficult past. I, I, wouldn't, I don't mean to say that it gets better because it's over, so how could it get better or worse? But I've gotten better at dealing with it over time, and that's been the point of going on with life. Those things didn't happen in a vacuum. They affect a lot of characteristics of my day and my life, but that doesn't mean that they are responsible for my identity. When people who know that I identify as trans, because I don't care who knows and who doesn't, tend to get a sort of, not an upset, but their sense of themselves seems to change. It's like a reflection or something, like they see some kind of quality in me and if I identify as genderqueer or if I identify as trans, then does that mean, does that change who they are in relation to me, uh, in relation to the rest of society? And the short answer is no. The short answer is of course not. And, and if you are a, a friend or family member, you know, that's up to you how you identify. If you, you know, my mother said, you're always going to be my baby. And you're, you know, she said, so are you not my daughter then? And I said, well, you know, I'm at least your kid. You know, but daughter's fine because that's, that's how she identifies. And I'm okay with that. I can handle that. Some people can't and they deserve that kind of respect because, you know, people who do say, well, I'd rather be your daughter and I'd rather have always been your daughter, but I'd like your acceptance now, but that's valid. Absolutely. You know, but is my wife still a lesbian? Yeah, absolutely. There's, there's no questioning that. But it's hard because if I identify as trans, um, does that put me in the male role? You know, and those are questions that every relationship has to figure out. But in my case, we've just sort of meted out the part where I don't... I'm not really preoccupied with the pronoun and with the word. I, I prefer the word husband. I like to be our dog's daddy. It's comfortable for me and it's actually fun and it's nice. And I just have never identified with being a mother, being, I, I don't know. And I certainly have never comfortably identified as a lesbian. This is getting to be a long video. But I think the, the two points are that I am who I am because of who I've always been and I just found a label to match and great but and the other part is that doesn't say anything about others because they have their own identities to find. So hopefully in putting this out I set some sort of example for being yourself and not being what it seems like you should be find, you know, find what works. And I got lucky because I found a word that matches my identity and that I can use. And now making it work with others is more work, but that's a whole other story. So be well.